me triple g and welcome back to another youtube video today guys we are getting into you know some the cosmetic side of the channel today not necessarily makeup but we are getting into some skincare some skincare skincare is very important whether you wear makeup you don't wear makeup you're a makeup artist not a makeup artist if you're somebody that just anybody and everybody no matter who you are out there skincare is important it's important okay um i wanted to show you guys my specific skincare routine because i finally actually have one like i know a little hypocritical i just said everybody needs one and should have one but it's like i would always be like on and off like i would have i would start like dabbling into making sure like i always make sure my skin is clean especially because i wear makeup so i always make sure of that but like actual like products different moisturizers serums and all that i finally just now if having one of a couple of years of struggling in like i would be like oh i like this and then kind of like you know like and then like you know you know you know you know the drill you know the drill so we're gonna get into that today um should be a cute little quick video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to your girl and um you know check out the channel and share you never know who will be interested you just never know you just never know all right let's get right into the video get some moisturizer i'm feeling crusty i just washed my face so let's do this all right <laughs> i forgot in the first clip I got new glasses, y'all. How do y'all like them? They're like clear, but got like a green, almost seafoam green type of tint. Y'all know I love me a good seafoam green color. So I'm really feeling it. Got the round lenses. I love a good round lens too. So this is cute, different for me. Cause I'm usually, actually, I said that back. I've always been the type that's been dibble dabbled in different colors. It's just, ugh, dang. It's just been a minute since I've had like something other than like black or you know, like, you know, you know. So, um, yeah, skincare, skincare. <laughs> All right, I think I wanna treat this um, skincare specifically as if I had just taken off my makeup. So, we're gonna go through the steps. We're gonna go through the steps like that. All right, first off, of course, take your makeup off. This is the um, makeup remover that I love using. They're the makeup remover wipes um, from Costco. They're kind of like a dupe for the Neutrogena um, skin um, wipes. I like using these. They take my makeup well. I use about one or two, maybe three, depending on how full, fully beat my face was beforehand. And then I also use um, the Clinique um, Take the Day Off makeup remover. I use this mostly if it's like a very fully beat face. Like I got all the products on. I went to an event or something. You know what I mean. And I, I would use this first with like a cotton pad. And then I might use like one of these to just make sure I get all the nooks and crannies. You know, all the good stuff. You know, all the good stuff. <laughs> and then after that, I go in with these alcohol free, um, sensitive skin it got aloe in it it's called stridex and they just like kind of like help with acne and stuff make sure you don't break out type thing it looks like this i hadn't used i hadn't used this until recently um my mom was just kind of like hey you might want to try this because sometimes i break out on my like chin i'm like okay yeah let's see how it is because i used to use the um I forget the brand. It's not Neutrogena. I haven't used it in a while. I'll pop up a picture because I really forgot the brand. But um, it used to be kind of similar for acne. And um, it was too strong. And it would like kind of break my eczema out that I have right here. And it, was, it just wasn't cute. And it wasn't fun. So yeah, I like these. And I still don't really use this right here too much because it's really sensitive down there. So yeah. <laughs> And then now we're gonna get into like face wash and all that. So, this is the face wash I like to use. It's by La, La Roche Posay. I love this. I got a couple of stuff products in this lineup by them. Love them. Um, I already washed my face, so this is what I used a second ago. So yeah, and it's for um, 
it's for it helps clear skin and acne and stuff like that. I think most of my like breakouts aren't necessarily acne, just like a lot of hormonal type breakouts, you know. But still helps, still great. <laughs> next product, <laughs> and then next. After I have like a really, really fresh, clean face, like I said before, I have eczema. So I like to use this. My, I was prescribed this. So like if you have eczema, you would use your prescription or any kind of like eczema cream that you can find on the market. And I put, I like to put it right here. This specific prescription that I have is for like the sensitive parts of my body, like my face or whatever. So I like putting it here. I like putting it in the cracks of my nose, like so. And sometimes I like putting it on my forehead a little bit, depending on like the time of the year and what's going on. You know, it's almost spring, pollen is already out. So it's, it's already a shenanigans, y'all. It's already a shenanigans. But yes, I like putting that on first because you don't want to, um, you would want to put your most important stuff on first, like something like this, like a medication, because once you put all your other products on first, it's like layers of that already on your skin. So you want this to be the first layer so it really gets to penetrate into the skin and everything. It would still work if you forget, because I'd be forgetting, you know? But um, yeah, first is better, but in general, put it on at all, great. All right, next product. <laughs> all right, y'all, the next product I like putting this on sometimes, um, especially like right before I go to bed. This is like a body butter. It has, um, excuse me y'all, so sorry. <laughs> um, it has, um, what's it called? It's called turmeric in it and it's for hyperpigmentation. So I like putting it on like my little hyperpigmentation areas all over my body. Like sometimes I, that was kind of a lot. Sometimes I'll put it here to help even that out for my eczema and everything like that. I don't like putting too much because oilier products also tend to break me out. And then y'all know I said I break out my chin and my nose. So I put a thin layer and that helps. That helps. So yeah. Only do it before I go to bed. I wouldn't put this on if I'm about to put makeup on or and such. Yeah. <laughs> Next product. <laughs> All right. And next product is by La Roche. This is a vitamin C serum. This is really great for like, really for aging skin, but I like using it because it also like rejuvenates, it plumps, it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The word? It adds radiance, you know, and it just makes it look like nice and pretty. So I like using a little bit of this. You only use it once a day and I like using it in the morning. So yeah, it's a little like dropper type situation. So I only drop one or two make it like a dime size in your hand like so i don't know if you can see it yeah there you go and then we rub actually that wasn't enough i lied i lied a little more <laughs> a little bigger than a dime size so i put it on the forehead down my neck like so I also like putting it on the back of my neck too, so I'm gonna go and put a little bit there as well. Yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> and on this vitamin C serum, it also says it's good for like layering makeup on top of it. So I usually put it on first and then another serum. So I need to like switch it like next time I wear my some makeup after doing my skincare and see how that goes. Cause I usually use a different like primer type thing, but you know, We'll see. Anyway, it looks like this. <laughs> and then our next serum, it's the B5 serum. And this is good for like keeping your skin hydrated mostly like that. And it's crazy because I'm extremely oily. Like y'all hear me talk about it all the time in all my videos, makeup and gaming. My nose is oily. My nose is oily trying to do everything I can and your girl just oily oily so it's just we're trying to find products because my nose like that and then like around here like this area sometimes on certain parts of my cheeks are dry so I'll be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'll be trying to put some stuff here some stuff here and then if I put it all over then this oily but this good or vice versa and I'm just like mm. 
this is annoying this is annoying but anyway same amount like a little bigger actually this one's about a dime size because this one goes a long way in comparison to the um vitamin c serum so same spots i i kind of avoid my nose until the very end with this one since it's the hydrating one so i wipe everywhere except my nose until the end Like so, sometimes I let it go down to decolletage too, but um, I have other like body products that I put there, so yeah, whatever gets there gets there, but definitely the neck and the face. <laughs> now we're getting into moisturizer. Now we're getting into moisturizer. So I have two moisturizers that I love using. First one, La Roche, got up the La Roche. This is a mattifying moisturizer. I love using this right before I um, put makeup on. I haven't done it too many times because I just um, recently got this. But how, like, it's like it moisturizes, but, like, it's not oily. So it, like, worked perfect for me, especially in the nose area. So I like using this um, when I'm, like, wearing makeup mostly. But otherwise, it kind of, like, feels a little too dry if I'm, like, not wearing makeup that day. So the other moisturizer I like using as well is the Clinique Mo Moisture Surge. This is a gel moisturizer. So it doesn't make my um, nose and other oily parts too oily. This is the one I'm wearing today because I'm not putting on makeup right after this video. So perfect for today. But I love a good gel moisturizer. The La Roche one is gel as well. I'll squeeze a tiny bit on my hand so you guys can see the texture. In a second. Yes. We're looking moisturized, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and then the La Roche moisturizer. It looks like this. It's also a gel. If it'll focus, hold on. Yeah, it's like a it's like a gel. It looks a little white without it rubbed in, but you see how it's clear on my two middle fingers now. So yeah, I love both of those. Fave, fave. And now, if I were to be wearing, um, actually no. Next is <laughs> sunscreen. Y'all know I'm always talking about the importance of sunscreen. Make sure y'all wear y'all sunscreen. SPF 50 is best. SPF 50 and up is best, but I think at least like 35, but I always try to wear 50. This is by Super Goop Play, and I love this because as a black woman, a lot of um, um, SPF gives that blue, grayish looking cast, and it's not cute, it's ugly, it makes you look ashy, it makes you look gross, I hate it. This don't do that. This doesn't do that. And it don't break me out either. I was like, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> my brother was the one that actually recommended me to use this because he'd be using it. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try it. It's great. Use it, protect your skin, protect your face. We almost in summer, especially if you in the South, that humidity too, it'd be beaming, beaming. Protect your skin, protect it, especially if you're in the sun a lot. Please and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then since we're talking about um, sunscreen, I also wanted to show this. This is a body sunscreen. I would never put this on my face. This has glitter and shimmers and perfume in it. I do not put, I'm going to say at the beginning, I don't put any kind of perfumes on my face, especially, but really my body in general. I got eczema, skin is sensitive. It, I add perfume after everything, but none of the actual like um, products has perfume in it. But anyway, this is by Kapari. And I actually just bought this. This is my very first time using it. And I'm going to be using this up in the summer. And it's SPF 50 as well. Um, it, it just, it has, I will show you guys how it looks like on my hand at the end. Because I got more products I need to put on my face. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put it on yet because I don't want the glitters and stuff to get on my face skin. So, I'm repeating myself, but we'll come back to that. It's very cute, very pretty, and protects your skin, and it smells good. It smells like mango. We'll get into it, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. And next, if I was wearing makeup today, I would go on with my primers, like the Smashbox. I got a couple of other primers I like using as well, but um, I've been wanting to try this um, 
mattifying primer. We're going to see how that works. And I like the other one as well. Like, uh, I'm having it on the screen. I don't know why my mind is blinking right now. I don't know why my mind is blinking right now. But I ran out of it, so I can't even show you the bottle. But I'll put a picture up. Y'all know the, the very popular one. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to try that oil control one, but not today because I'm not wearing makeup right after this. So, yeah. And then, after that, this right here, y'all. This right here is the holy grail. It's the holy grail for um, any kind of pimples or anything like that. Like, this is what it looks like. It's just white cream. Um, it's it's um, Korean skincare. And we... And, I didn't buy it. My brother bought it for me because he had some and then I kept using his. He was like, I'm going to buy you this. I was like, period. And it works so well. Um, I'm going to try to find a link or something. I'm going to ask him. But if not, um, this is, I'll show y'all in a second after I use it. <laughs> but you just take a little bit and you like put it on the pimple. I got one right here. Kind of made this spot a little dramatically big. Dramatically big, y'all. But it's still going to work. <laughs> And yeah, and then like, I like putting this on at night mostly and then I'll sleep with it on. But honestly, depending on how, <laughs> depending on um, how fast I want this um, pimple to clear up, I'll like put it on throughout the day, especially if I'm not um, gonna be out too much. But even if I am out, cause I wear a mask pretty much almost everywhere I go. So you're not gonna see this part of my face anyway. But anyways. <laughs> Yes, this is very great. Clears up a pimple very fast. Very fast. And I love it. I love it. But now we're going to wrap back around to this so I can show you guys how pretty it is. They have it in, this is rose gold. They have it in like a regular gold color too. And a regular gold one smells like um, coconut. And it's very pretty as well. My mom got that one. But um, this is what it looks like not rubbed in. I don't want it to, we're, we're, uh, uh, we're going to have to rub it in. And then if it was focused, you could see it better in the sunlight, but it leaves these like real pretty shimmers all over your skin. And imagine this like at the beach mm. or just, just in general in the summer. And you know, ooh, it's gonna look so pretty. It's gonna look so great. I love it. And it smells delicious too. So yeah, check that out. This is about the only thing that's like a little perfumey I'm going to put on my skin. I, like I said, I just got it. I need to test it out, see if it's going to break me out or not. Fingers crossed it doesn't because I love anything glitter. And if I could throw that on my body, 10 out of 10. So I don't think it'll break me out, but we'll find out. Because I be breaking out here too. So, and it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> Alright. And that is my entire skincare routine, guys. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Only one thing that I need to get is exfoliator for my, for my face. Because I have exfoliator for like my legs and like other parts of my body and stuff like that. But I want one specifically that's good for your face because once again, I don't like putting perfumes on my face. My legs is fine because I don't really break out there. But my face, absolutely not, absolutely not. So if, if you know a good um, moisturizer, not moisturizer, exfoliator that is that would... Be great on your face skin, not too harsh, don't have perfume, so fragrance free. Let me know in the comments um, below. Yeah, let me know, because your girl needs one. <laughs> but um, other than that, that is the end of the skincare. And also at the beginning, I did forget to mention that I um, when I shower, I um, will like um, wash my face with my washcloth as well. And then I'll go into the skincare. So it's like a like a light um, exfoliating with like the cloth, cause you know the cloth kind of kind of got like ruggedness a little bit to it. So I'll do that, and then I'll go into everything else. Unless I have makeup on, then I'll do makeup remover. Then that, then go into everything else. It just depends on where you are in the steps and what day it is, what you got on, and everything like that. I'm rambling now, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure you like, like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Um, more gaming coming soon. We just started Little Nightmares. So if you haven't seen that first video, check it out. It'll be linked in one of the corners. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's, 
it's been a mess, but not as much of a mess as I thought it would be. So we're going strong. We're going strong. So that should be out soon. Next part of that. And let me know what other games you would like to see me play. More makeup coming soon, of course. You all know all the stuff I got from IMAX. Haven't seen that video. That will be linked in the corners. Got great stuff coming. Amazing stuff coming. So I'm excited. And yeah. That's a, oh 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 how could I forget? How could I forget? How could I forget guys? How could I forget? My lips is dry. Don't forget your chapstick. This is last. I always do this very last anyway, so this is a good timing anyway. But uh chapstick. And this chapstick I got from um Trader Joe's. Almost dropped it. It's by the brand. Vertuso? I hope I pronounced that right, y'all. Oh, I hope I pronounced that right. I hope it's focused right. I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't fully tell. But, um, yeah, and it also has SPF in the, in the chapstick. So make sure, if you don't have an SPF chapstick, put your SPF, um, on your lips, too. Because your lips is part of your skin, and you need to protect those, too. So, yeah. And it also smells like, this one smells like mint. I love it, like just mint, and it's like around your mouth. It's literally the mouth. So like just mint is great there. It don't taste like mint though. Yes, I, I tried it, like a little bit. It don't taste like mint, but it smells like mint and it's great. So yeah, all right, end of the video now. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. Have a great day, morning, night, evening. Yeah, bye. <laughs>